so it's a it's a uh, difficult reality that uh, human reproduction is limited, and primarily it's limited uh, because the number of eggs that a woman has uh, is a finite resource. And even since before she was born, a woman is losing her eggs. Uh, at the peak, uh, a woman has about five to six million eggs. By the time that she's born, there are about two to three million left. And then by the time she reaches puberty, so even before she's ovulated even a single egg, there are only about 500,000 left. So about 90% of all of the eggs that a woman starts with uh, are gone by the time she reaches puberty. And with only one exception that I can think of, there's really no way to stop that loss of the eggs. Whether a woman is pregnant, whether she is on the birth control pill, that process is basically an unstoppable. Uh, and as the number of eggs dwindles, the quality of those eggs gets worse as well. So not only there are fewer remaining, but they don't work as well as they had when a woman is younger. And that is primarily the major obstacle uh, to fertility when there are no other medical problems. Female fertility uh, it certainly reaches its peak somewhere in the probably late teens and 20s, uh, and then begins to take a significant decline in the mid-30s, and certainly by 37, 38, an even more significant decline. Uh, and it's basically impossible for us to predict who will get pregnant or when they will get pregnant. Uh, we can only observe the population at large and see that as women get older, fewer and fewer are getting pregnant at any given time. If after um, 12 months of trying in a woman who is younger than 35, or after six months of trying in a woman who is older than 35, conception has not occurred, that would be the appropriate time to see a reproductive endocrinologist for a full fertility evaluation.